YouTube family, you're yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming back and God bless you. Do you have a loved one who is allergic to hex? Do you have a loved one who you're trying to curb their sugar diet or who can't even eat sugar at all, yet they love these snacks? Well, this is for you and this is for them. And without much time, let's get right on. Let's get right on. We're going to be making use of one, two, and three cups of flour. Shake it together to shift out the flour. Try to do the dry ingredients first. So here we have one fourth cup of powder milk. You can make use of any milk of your choice. Grand gloves. We'll be using half a teaspoon ground nutmeg half a teaspoon and half a tablespoon of salt mix that together and there we go <laughs> that's right a little bit of onion two habanero and little ginger i know some of you are wondering what yes i need it a little bit spicy if you don't like it you can skip this process so it can be blended grated or pounded on this day i when I had to pound the ginger, habanero, and the onions. Again, you can skip the habanero if you don't want it to be spicy. I've made it without habanero. I added the ground pepper. And my kids love spicy, especially my daughter. And she requested for this. So here we go. Spicy snacks. You want to go ahead and scoop that out and put that in the sieve we only need the liquid please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this comment share and subscribe if you haven't done so thank you shake that a little bit together once the liquid is out of it we'll be adding a little bit of smoked paprika baking vanilla and that is half a teaspoon half tablespoon of melted butter mix it together until it's breadcrumbs and then add a little bit of water mix it together until it forms a dough once a dough is formed cover it up and set it aside for 15 minutes in a clean surface add a little bit of flour i like to put small flour by the side so you can make use of that roll that out and then cut it to your desired form or shape if you're still watching me till now and you're yet to subscribe to my channel please please go ahead and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and like comment and share i'm sure you will love this this snacks is so delicious without sugar and it came out very well it's very crunchy and healthy so give this a try and you will love it if my kids who are toddlers love this then i'm telling you you will love it and your kid will love it as well this oil was used in making snacks a few days ago i'll be making use of the same oil to fry this shin shin put your onion yes you have to put onion into the hoi that's why it's called several <laughs> several shin shin so put in your onion into the hoi let it fry for just a little bit less than one minute or less than a second and then pour in your shin shin stir 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 mix it together some like that shin shin like that and some don't but i like mine a little bit brown so i'm gonna leave it on for just a little bit more and there you go the shin shin is done i put that in a tray or wherever you would like to put it you know just so it can pull down once it is cool transfer it into the container or the jar you would like to preserve your snacks in again thank you for watching i appreciate you to my next video keep loving god keep trusting god and keep being you bye bye